little how to do the dolly zoom on Power Director. So take your clip and move it into your timeline. I'm going to shorten up the timeline to find the part of the clip that I want to use. Basically, going to do the pullback shot in tripod mode on my Phantom 4. Looking for the the shot I want to use for the dolly zoom. Looks like a good starting point there. Use that oak tree for an anchor point in that double tree also. So I'll clip the video out, take out the unused portion. Then I'm going to trim it to about 10 seconds. You want to shoot this in 4K because we're going to do a pretty good zoom and you don't want to lose any detail. So we'll trim this clip at 10 seconds. Select the clip, trim it. Throw away the unused portion. Stretch out the timeline again. And we're going to go to the designer and the pip designer. You want to make sure that the aspect ratio you click maintain. And also click enable keyframe. There again, this oak tree is going to be our anchor point in that double tree there. So we want the end of the clip to be zoomed in really close to looking like the first shot or the opening shot. So how we're going to do that is we're going to zoom it in. You might have to play with this to get it exactly how you want it or the look you want but I'm just gonna go through it really quick so you guys using power director can can do this dolly zone so there's our anchor point and we're gonna slide it over a little bit because we slid it over you might need to trim the first portion off because it'll be a little bit out of frame when it starts. That looks pretty close to what we had for the initial shot, so we'll click OK. And we'll see what that looks like. Not too bad for just a point and click. Keeping my anchor point relatively the same at the start and the finish. Like I say, we'll clip that first portion out. And we'll save what we want to use. So that's it, I'm happy with that shot. So I'm gonna hit the produce button. I'm gonna render it in 4K. sped up the production part because it took a little over six minutes to render a 10 second clip and let's take a look at what it looks like of course in power director it looks a little laggy i did want to mention this was done in power director 15 but i think any of the versions it would be basically the same So we'll save it, name it, and I'll give you a little preview of what it looks like. Thanks for watching, guys.
Peace.